Well, Doris de Vries looking relaxed here in Portugal. It's uh, a nice setting, but it doesn't sound like it's been too relaxing on the training ground so far. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. Um, training, training has been good. Has been um, ever, ever since we come back, came back. Um, we had uh, lots of tests. Uh, training has been has been uh, really, really good so far, and uh, it's been hard. And uh, it's just for everybody trying to get back into uh, into shape again especially after a couple of weeks off of holiday. Um, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a great great place now at the moment and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Just to sum up the hotel, really, it's a quite a big hotel, isn't it? But there's only us here. Yeah. You know, is that privacy nice or is it quite eerie to be in such a... Well, it is, it is quite nice, yeah. No, yeah, but it's, it's a luxury thing, to be honest. Um, a, the weather is, is unbelievable. Um, it, it's It's take some time to getting used to in training to be honest but um, oh, the facilities are class hotel is really really nice the food has been absolutely tremendous um, yeah we've got the whole, the whole hotel for ourselves and um, it just um, it, it's quite a relaxed environment you know it's just being here just relax even when you're tired or when you got dirty clothes on and you don't have to go through a busy hotel a lobby uh, all those kind of things is quite nice when you're just all amongst yourselves and uh, yeah it's, um, it's 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 a good place to be it's a very different setting isn't it to last summer in Sweden it was a city center hotel yes. and the climate was obviously more like the English climate so yes. you know what, what do you think of the pros and cons of coming out to some such a warm place uh, Wow um, yeah I've had so many different pre seasons uh, throughout my career and um, I've enjoyed every trip to to be fair uh, no matter where I've been, either it was a mini pre-season up in Turkey or we went Portugal, Spain, even uh, Scotland for a trip, Sweden, uh, Denmark, wherever you go. It's always nice to be just uh, uh, just away for a week, 10 days with the guys, uh, just amongst ourselves uh, um, and just a little bit of team bonding as well because that's what's this about as well is you're staying away, all everybody together at one place and uh, you spend a little bit more time with each other. Um, so sometimes that that's really really nice and as far as Sweden last year compared to this one um, of course everything is a little bit different you know we've got a whole different uh, different technical staff as well um, but so far I'm enjoying this really really well and um, the same as last year you know as long as preseason sets you up for what's coming in the rest of the season then it's then it's brilliant and so far there's no complaints on my side on the subject of that new technical stuff, Philip Montagnier, the new manager, how are you finding him so far? Oh, he's, he's really, really, really calm. Um, he seems to be uh, addressing himself really, really well. Um, he's, he's, he's coming with a great pedigree. Um, just look at, the, at this CV and, and see what he's done in the past. As he, he's had some tremendous results and uh, um, he's slowly trying to interpret it like just tell the guys what, what, what he really wants to uh, on the pitch and once he wants to see and I'm sure you will uh, you will look at the squad in, in these uh, couple of weeks uh, just to see what he's got at his uh, disposal at the moment and um, yeah it's, it seems seems uh, seems a great uh, the whole technical staff to be honest uh, I, th I think will be a, will be a great welcome addition to this club and uh, and sure we'll kick on with this team one of your biggest attributes throughout what's been a very successful career so far for you is your distribution. Um, is there any hint that he's going to be looking at using that as a as a key asset for you, or are you uh, waiting and seeing for now? Well, no, yeah. At, at, at the moment, it's looking like he, he wants to he wants to play uh, play some football from the back, building up from the back, and uh, and, and look uh, look to be dominant in ball possession, um, which includes a goalkeeper with uh, with uh, good distribution. Um, which is coming back to my days in Holland and uh, and at Swansea, um, which I'm which I'm used to. You know, it, it's been a, it's been a couple of years now that the style of play has changed a little bit, but um, it only takes a matter of weeks just to get back to it again. And everybody needs to show their angles. Everybody needs to uh, commit to their movements and be real positive on the ball and, and really want to demand the ball as well. But uh, we're slowly working on that. We're working hard on it. Um, and like I said, training so far has been has been great for it, you know, um, uh, and, and and I'm sure it will pay off. A couple of behind closed doors friendlies already out of the way. Spurs last weekend, which was obviously a fantastic test against some very very good players in 
an amazing facility and then followed by a victory over Millwall out here in Portugal. Just talk us through the two games from your perspective. Um, yeah, the first game was um, was quite nice to be fair. Uh, normally you always uh, play a local side team and then ease right into it. Now it was just straight at the uh, Tottenham training ground facilities. Amazing to be there. Uh, lovely pitch um, and, and against a great opposition um, after after a good weeks of training and um, yeah unfortunately we lost that game but um, no, it was just good to get the get starting and um, and just to show you know what we're actually looking for in, in the type of play uh, and, and it's, it's, it's been a good showcase for the gaffer as well in terms of what he has at his disposal at the moment, uh, playing staff wise, and um, yeah, and then looking back at the Millwall game, uh, which we played um, yesterday, it was also a good game. You know, coming in this environment, they've already been here for a whole week. We won that game, uh, which is always a nice feeling. Uh, you know, when you when you play your games, you want to win, no matter if it's a friendly or whatever. It's a game is a game, simple as, and. Um, yeah, it was just a, just a nice environment to play a game like that. Um, we adjusted really, really well. And um, so on, we just kick on, really, up to the next game. It doesn't seem like five minutes ago since I was interviewing you at the gala dinner after you'd picked up your Player of the Season award. A great achievement, but one I'm sure you'll be looking to, to replicate again this season. Yes, no, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I just want to become a better goalkeeper again. I just want to step up again from last year. I want to be a better self. Um, that's the ultimate goal, really. Um, and, and, and just prove again um, that I'm able to compete with the better goalies in this division. Um, be there for my team when it's needed. Um, that's all I really care about, you know, that they got somebody to rely on at the back. And in their backs, we'll, we'll cover their backs as well, and um, and, and and that's for me key. Um, for myself, is just working really, really hard with the with the goalkeepers that are here, with uh, with Sutz uh, being a great goalie uh, goalie himself, but also a great goalkeeper coach, and uh, we're just gonna push on to the next level. It's always nice to hear a bit of a progress report from you on your close friend Dimitar Eftimov and Jordan Smith, who's coming through the ranks really nicely. Yes. How are they getting on? Uh, really, really well. Yeah, no, um, we've been really, like, like I said earlier as well, we, we work together quite closely, the three of us, and uh, together with Sots, of course. And, and you can see the guys are developing as well. Um, in, in the years that I've been here now, you can see Dimitar getting, getting more mature. You can see Jordan as well getting more mature. And you can see the loan spells that he had as well is just um, giving him more confidence, but also a little bit more of an experience as well. And um, he takes it all along with him. And the same with Dimmy takes it with them in training and uh, and that's why we all need each other really to push on to the next level and uh, you can't do it on yourself um, as much as you want to but um, and such comes in play and, and really tries to push us on works us really really hard and sometimes the three as a three of us really moan at such as well before uh, because of that but um, now we got a we got a great great uh, goalkeeper union and uh, we, we just look forward to push each other on so another long Skybet Championship season lies ahead. What would you say to the fans ahead of this one, Doris? What what, what are your feelings ahead of it? Um, well, to have confidence in the in the in the team and in uh, in the direction that we're gonna go and, uh, and head towards to. Um, it, we only just started pre-season. Um, a lot of changes in and around the club. You know, uh, technical director coming in place, which is a, a really really good thing. Uh, new technical staff trying to get used to the to the players, see what they got at the uh, player staff wise, what they got at the disposal. New signings, uh, new signings coming, um, and 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 let's let's hope everything integrates really really well over the next couple of weeks, and then we uh, we go uh, go and, and and look forward to a, a great first game of the season, and um, yeah, stay stay positive and look forward to what's coming. That first game of the season, Burton Albion. A massive game for them, and obviously a massive game for us as well. But it's going to be quite the occasion, that. It's it's in case of every start of the season, you want to start it really, really well. And um, uh, this game, I can understand the the, the feelings, uh, especially in media picking up as well. But um, yeah, they they 
a newly promoted side. Uh, I'm sure they're up for a fight. I'm sure they want to show themselves that they uh, that they compete on can compete on this level. Uh, for us, it's just the same case as always. We just want to show that we're forest and, um, and and show that we are progressing, and that's the that's the main key. And we want to get off of a great start, and uh, and that's what we're working now really really good, and and um, and working already for. Just make sure that we're there on the start of the season, that we're ready to go.